everybody. Welcome to a rainy day vlog. <laughs> it is so nasty outside. So I, welcome, it's another daily vlog. Um, I slept in my heatless curlers last night. It's such a waste. I got up, my hair was all curly. It looked so good. And then I went outside. It wasn't raining yet when we were waiting on the bus, but the wind was like, like this. I was like, oh, and now it's completely like between the wind and now the rain. It's like I didn't do anything, but I am like, I just went ahead and got out for the day. I did not do my makeup. We're just like, there's no point. It's raining. It's nasty. I went and got um, some more coffee at Target. I wanted to see yesterday. I found a ton of stuff on like from Halloween. 70% off and the lady told me yesterday it may go to 90%. They weren't sure. So I just wanted to check and see if anything went to 90%. Now all of the costumes did go to 90% and a lot of the decor, but I have no idea what my kids are going to be into. I thought about just buying something for fun for them to play dress up with, but I couldn't really fit, find anything. But still, that's such a great deal. They had a ton of candy left. I didn't really buy any more candy, but they did still have some of the butter pecan coffee and it was 50% off, and I just love butter pecan coffee, so I got three more, and I signed David up for Ibotta so that I could get the rebate and get two dollars off each one. He needs to sign up for it anyway, then I can use both of ours, but anyway, I did that, and then me and I met David over here at Once Upon a Child. It's like a kid's consignment kind of shop because we're redoing a room in our church as like a mother's room, like a cry room, and um, we needed a changing table and um, like a little bouncer or something maybe to like if the baby's crying, maybe if she needs to set them down. We already have a rocker, um, so we really don't need much. But I told him like once upon a child usually has changing tables for like 50 bucks. And that's like over half price buying it new, even like the cheapest one. So we, we found a perfect, imperfect condition changing table and a little bouncer. I think the Bouncer was like $15 and the changing table was 20, I mean 50. So that was awesome. And we're going to be able to completely transform this room into a, like a cry room. We have a new baby that was just born in our church. And I always feel so bad because like the nursery is not a great place if you need to breastfeed or stuff. There's you know, little babies in there. And then um, there's not really another good place. And so we're redoing this room. And it's so exciting to like see new things come up in our church. I still want to find a nice like I need to get like a lamp and maybe like a pretty sign or something like a little decor art piece or something. <clears throat> so David already bought the paint. So I want to kind of see what the paint looks like. It's like a very, very, very light, light blue, almost like what Lucy's room is. Um, so I want to kind of see, there was a couple things at Hobby Lobby, but Hobby Lobby didn't have them on sale. So I was like, I'll wait. Um, so anyway, David, we, I met over, him over here. We looked at everything. He bought them. He, put them in my car. You can probably see back there. And now I need to go to the church and drop them all off because the kids can't ride in the car with the seats down like this. Um, but while I was in Once Upon a Child, I was like, well, I'm going to look around, of course, for the kids because I'm always needing to, you know, find new clothes for the kids. They always, you know, they've outgrown so much of their winter stuff. And I have like a love-hate relationship with Once Upon a Child. Sometimes I find a ton of stuff. The last time I was in here, I found nothing. But today, oh my gosh, they had so many good deals. And I think too, it's been harder for me to find um, good deals at like Target, Walmart. Usually I can find clearance stuff and so it's cheaper just to buy it there. But it's been harder than harder this year to find stuff. I spent $107. Y'all just wait till you see the amount of clothing. I got stuff for all three of the kids such nice quality. I, it takes me forever to go through in a store like that. That's another reason I kind of hate going into <laughs> a store like that is I have to go to so many different sections. You know, I'm going to Mark's size, Nate's size, and then Lucy's size. And it's so packed with stuff and you're having to really look over everything, make sure there's no stains. They check pretty good, but I still found a few stains. And so I bought a bunch of stuff. So now I'm going to go over to the church, let David unload this, put my seats back up and I'm going to go home. It's already after 10 o'clock. I was hoping to like get a lot of stuff done around the house. I was hoping to go on another walk. I've been loving my walks. However, here we are in the rain. I even thought about, do you guys remember when I used to go um, in like Walmart and just walk around and get my steps in? I may do that. I may do that instead of walking at home, but I do want to get home as quickly as I can because I have so much I need to do today. 
But I'm so thankful that I found such good deals for the kids, like such good deals. I got Nate jeans. The only thing I'm worried about is if making sure everything fits okay. Um, I bought him those men's size small shirts and stuff fit him perfectly at Kohl's. I bought him a bunch of men's size small. I even think a men's medium would fit him. The pants, however, the men's pants are just not quite right. Like the proportions or whatever, they're wrong. So I found some size 16 jeans in here, some really nice jeans. I got him two different pair. I'm hoping they fit. Um, I got Mark some stuff. I got Lucy some stuff. I'm just so excited about everything I found. I need to check in here more often. I, I sleep on it. I don't, just because it takes a while and it's not somewhere you can like pop in and out. Um, and sometimes like, sometimes I find a ton of stuff. Sometimes I don't, sometimes I feel like that's a really good deal. And then sometimes I feel like it's overpriced. So it's like with anywhere else, you just have to shop it a lot. So anyway, I do also need to bring my kids clothes here when they outgrow it and sell them and make a little bit of money. But I just never have done that. Actually, I did do that a long, long time ago when Nate was little, but I haven't done it since then. So anyway, I'm going to run and get, oh, also stay tuned. Oh, so I got a bunch more of the coffees, three more. And then I got two more of the icings because they're 56 cents. And I'm like, I can make cake pops with this. I can make all kinds of different things with this. So I got one cream cheese and one of the green frostings. And then, y'all, look what I found. I'm going to try this in this video. But I need to get let it get cold. I found the Alani Winter Wonderland. I've been looking for this. And usually Target has it. Has like a bunch of the different Alanis. And so this Kroger. Kroger did not have it. But Target did. They didn't have it yesterday. But they had it today. And I've heard this is like a cranberry coconutty kind of taste. Which I am so excited about. Y'all know I, I have a whole Alani taste test. I'll put that down below. But anytime they come out with a new flavor. I'm going to have to now try it. So I'm going to get home. I'm going to stick that in the fridge or in the freezer real quick. And let it chill. Because I feel like it needs to be cold. I know I could pour it over ice. But I don't want to do that. So. That's my plan for the day. Y'all come hang out with me. It's going to be a busy day. Um, Lucy has choir practice today. So as soon as I get Nate, we've got to go pick her up. And then tonight is the second, third night of revival, which we have not been able to go to because they don't start until 7 p.m., which is like almost bedtime for my kids. They didn't get done last night till after 10 o'clock. <laughs> they even got home after 11 o'clock. Um... I will just tell y'all this season in October has been brutal for my family. It's been so good for David. He has gotten so much like time with God and it's been amazing, but he went from staff retreat to the conference he went to out of town for set for like half a week. Then there was um revival last week and then all the prep for Blocktober and then this week is revival. It's been all month. It's been a solid month of not, us not seeing him very much. I can count on one hand how many nights he's been home. Like, I don't count him coming in at 11 as being home, <laughs> you know, like him being home during the evening time. And so I'm so happy for him that he's had so much time to like focus in on, on God and what he's speaking and all of that. But we miss him a lot. <laughs> so um, tonight, um, the, our worship team from our campus is playing. I really, really want to go and support them. I don't think we'll be able to stay past like 730 because I really got to get the kids back in there. You know, the time change has really screwed us over this week. It's been really hard on the kids to change over. I've got to get them in bed and be home by at least eight o'clock. So, um, but we're going to try our best to go tonight. I'm going to see how everybody does at school, make sure, you know, everything's okay. We're going to try our best to go. So that means before we go, we got to do dinner. We've got to do uh, baths and all of that. So it's going to be a busy day. Also, today is election day as I'm filming this. And I've been in prayer all morning about it. So I feel so heavy in my heart. I know ultimately God is in control, but it's still just like nerve wracking, like what's going to happen. And, you know, so anyway, y'all come spend the day with me. I'm going to get moving, let David unload this stuff. Maybe walk around a little bit and then I will see you guys back at home. As I'm still in the car, I am making my way home. <laughs> it took me forever. The rain got to the church. We unloaded everything. Um, and then on the way home, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go into Kroger. I'm going to walk around for a little bit. I went in, I went in there. It was so cold. I'm like, forget it. I'm not going to walk around. <laughs> I'm going home. And uh, I went ahead and grabbed some of the DiGiorno pizzas that are, were on sale. I didn't get them when I was in there before getting like, 
sale stuff. And I looked in the freezer. I'm like, we could use a few more pizzas. And so they were $3.99. So I got four of those. And then I was headed to check out. And there was a torrential downpour, like right at that time. It's been raining all morning, but this was like, so I was like, I'm not going to get out in that. I'm going to just browse around a little bit, walk around a little bit more. Went by the clothes section. And I don't know if y'all's Kroger has like a clothing section. Some of them do, some of them don't, like the smaller ones don't, but they have some really cute clothes. I've found some stuff over the years that I really like. Kids clothes, cute. So I found this top that I'm hoping is going to work. The dressing rooms were locked and I couldn't find anybody to open them. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to buy it and I have to take it back. I have to take it back. So I found this like turtleneck sweater kind of, but it's long. So I think I can wear it with leggings and stuff, but it's lightweight, which I'm always looking for. It'd be cute casual. It'd be cute dressy. So I got it. It was like $28, but then it was 25% off. So I got it for like 20 bucks ish. Um, so I got that. And then I went by the clearance section and found a couple more shirts. So anyway, then I'm checking out and I have on my headphones because I'm listening to a podcast. And one of the ladies from church, it's actually our children's pastor at the main campus, was like trying to call my name. Of course, I did not hear her. But I turned around when I was done checking out and she, I saw her. And so I got to talk to her and I was like, yeah, it's raining. And she was out shopping and stuff. And she gave me her umbrella. That's so sweet. She was like, no, I'm not taking it. You, you don't have to do that. I'll be fine. I'm just going to run. She's like, I've got on my raincoat. So I've got on this. This is why I'm giving it to you. And you can give it to me later. And I was like, oh, so I felt so bad. But it did save me from getting completely soaked. Although my clothes bag got soaked. So when I get home, I'll show you what I got clothes-wise at Kroger. I'll show you um, the stuff from the Once Upon a Child, which I'm still so happy about. I'm going to wash everything. I did pick up a Diet Coke just now because... I almost bought one at Kroger. They were like $2.69 for a 20 ounce. And I just thought, well, I can get one at Sonic. I think it's like a dollar and some change for like a big fountain drink, which I prefer anyway. So that's why I stopped by Sonic. I would buy myself Diet Cokes to just keep at home. However, uh, I never want a Diet Coke at home. The only reason I want Diet Coke is like when I'm out and about. <laughs> So I spend way too much money getting, but it's like, I know how some people like leave the house, they have to get a coffee. I prefer having coffee at home. If I leave the house and I'm shopping, I want a Diet Coke. And so the 269 little 20 ounces are killing me. So anyway, also my car has a built-in cooler. So I put the Alani drink in here. Let's see if it's cold. No, it's not cold hardly at all. So Hold on. Yeah, I pushed the button. Yeah, probably when I was in the store, it turned off. It's not cold. So I'm going to go home, stick that in there. We are definitely going to try that before it gets too much later, though. Maybe I'll stick it in the freezer for, like, just a few minutes, and I'll try that. So stay tuned. Big haul coming. And then tomorrow, y'all, I cannot do this. I cannot go shopping anymore. But, man, I got so many good deals. So, you know, it's one of those weeks. But we needed The kids needed clothes before it gets really cold. And I got such good stuff for like church and everything else. So I will see you guys back at home. Here's the mega haul here. I am so excited. Even pulling all this stuff out, I was so getting so excited. Good deals make me so excited. So first of all, I looked through a bunch of the shoes and a lot of them were so worn out. These look literally like they've only been worn a couple times. Like they look so nice and clean and everything. And I love how they have the price tag. So I'll be able to show you and tell you how much I paid. These are size 12s. Mark is really in an 11, so these may not quite fit yet, but I thought they were such a good deal. They're $7.50, $7.50. I love that they don't have laces. They have the Velcro. These would be perfect for church. He doesn't have any, like, you know, non-tennis shoe kind of shoes. So I thought these were so cute. Sperry brand. Love it. Then they had a whole section of Christmas pajamas, Christmas clothes. If I had, like, a three- to six-year-old daughter, I would have gone insane in there because the cutest stuff you've ever did see. Um, my kids, like, they didn't have as much for boys. They had nothing in Nate's size Christmas, and then the older girls didn't have as much either, but man, there's some cute little girl stuff. So Lucy was telling me that she didn't have any Christmas pajamas, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the stuff away until 
December when Ralph comes and let him bring them new pajamas. I need to get Nate some um, Christmas ones. I'm going to keep my eye out for a good deal on that. But anyway, these I got from Mark. I love Christmas stuff that says Holly Jolly because Holly is our last name spelled differently, but I thought it was so cute. These are Carter's brand, $4.50 for the pajamas. Um, they look like they're in great condition. And then there's like, they're this like thermal, uh, texture, which I think is so warm and comfortable. And then these are going to be a little bit big on Lucy, but she likes big pajamas. She likes big clothes anyway, but she really likes pajamas to be loose. It's Justice brand, which she loves. Um, it's not super Christmassy. There is like a little reindeer antlers, but other than that, it's just the Buffalo check. These are so comfy. Justice brand. Um, and they were $5 and 50 cents for the set. <clears throat> okay. All the clothes are all mixed up and whose is whose. So I didn't separate it out. These I got for Lucy. This is also justice brand. I have to be so picky about, um, pants. I buy her if they are not like really soft and stretchy. She just hates jeans. So these feel like leggings or like a jegging. They are brand new. Like the tag is still on them and they were $8 and 50 cents. Again, would I pay $8 and 50 cents at a thrift store? Well, only if they were like in really good condition. These are brand new though. I could never find her in so much, like I said earlier, prices are going up so much. So I thought for $8.50, I can't even go to Walmart and buy her jeans for that. So I thought that was a good deal. I don't know why I feel like I need to justify the price. It's just that normally I would be able to find something else cheaper. But like I said, things just have not happened like that. Okay, this dress I thought was so adorable. She can wear it pretty much any time of the year. Um, <clears throat> I thought it'd be cute with like a blue jean jacket and for the winter or she could wear it. I mean, it's just a simple black and white striped dress. It's a really nice material. It's from Shan and it was $6.50, which I love that I can buy something like this and not have to, I probably could get it on Shan, you know, for a similar price. However, then you got to wait for shipping and all that. And this is just such good condition. I think she's going to like that. Okay. Marky needed some like more casual, but still could wear to church kind of winter clothes or school. And I thought this like rust color is coming out way darker on camera. It's like a very muted rust color. It's Tommy Bahama, which is a great brand. Um, and it's size five and it's $5 and 50 cents. So cute. I also got him this one, which is Tommy Bahama. I don't know why we found all the, no, it's not. Why did it say Tommy Bahama? Hmm. It's cat. It's a uh, jumping beans, which is, um, Kohl's. So $5 and 50 cents for this one too. This one looks brand new. It doesn't look like it's worn at all. He looks really good in blues. I thought he would look cute in that. And then this one is from old Navy, $2 and 50 cents. Such a cute, just like a little Brown striped shirt for the, for the fall. These I got for Mark. He doesn't have any jeans. I don't think that fit him. He's also particular about how they feel and everything. So these are super soft. They are Carter's skinny jeans, uh, size five, and they were $7.50. All right. Lucy, I found her a couple tops that were so cute. This is Cat and Jack. I love when I can find shirts that are made really long like this because she wears leggings a lot. And I just prefer, and she does too, to have the shirts like long. This was $2.50. So cute. And then I thought this would be great for Christmas time and into the winter. Also very long. It'll be baggy on her. It'll be perfect. It was $3.50. I got this for Nate. Look how cute this is. It's like a gray little pullover. It's all in motion, which is a Target brand. $3.50. Like, are you, are you kidding? Like, that is so cute. Also, I got this for Nate. I love this this gray color on him. It's going to look so good. I love like the pocket little detail and the trim. It also looks brand new $3.50. I will say, I think I got the best deals for Nate. I don't know if just a lot of people don't shop for kids sizes that big. They didn't have a ton. Um, <clears throat> okay. So y'all know if you've not watched for a while, Nate does not like any sort of clothing with faces. 
like any sort of character. If he has a pizza shirt and the pizza has like a face on it, he will not wear it, which sounds like how would that ever happen? There are so many shirts that I bought him that he will not wear uh, because there's like a face on it. He doesn't really care as much about pajamas, but anyway, I saw this one that's just the solar system and he really likes the solar system. So I thought maybe this would you would like. There's no faces. Um, it's from Old Navy. It's super duper soft. It's a size 18, but I will tell you, Old Navy's clothes are always size small to me. I feel like they always um, size them way too small. So this should fit him really nice. <clears throat> it was, what did I say? $3.50. Okay, here's another pair of jeans I got for Mark. I love seeing Nate and Mark side by side. It's so cute. Okay, so Mark, some jeans. These are Granimals, which is just a Walmart brand. $5.50. Normally, if I had gone into a consignment shop and I had seen a Walmart brand, even if they were brand new like this, I wouldn't buy it for $5.50 because a lot of times I could find clothes on Markdown for cheaper than that brand new at Walmart. However, that is not the case anymore. You cannot go and find blue jeans for $5 at Walmart. At least not around me, you can't. So I thought those are a really good deal. These look great. They look perfect. They're very like soft and cozy feeling. All right, Old Navy. I love him having some like different jeans that are different colors kind of. So I'm hoping these fit him. They do have the adjustable waist. I'll probably have to, they, these are super tightened up, but I can loosen them. They're 16s and y'all, he's so tall. I'm really hoping that these fit. Um, I held them up to me, <laughs> see, because his legs are so long. They're about as long as mine. I think they're gonna work. $6.50, I thought that was a great deal. Okay, these ones I've spent the most money on, but they are in such good condition. They are perfect. They are also more straight-legged. A lot of the clothes I saw today were um, skinny jeans, and he hates that feeling of like his legs, like the clothes being tight. So these were Polo by Ralph Lauren, which is a nice brand, $11. Like $11 Polo jeans that'll look perfect. That is such a great deal. And then this is Sonoma brand, and it's also a size 16. And now these are slim fit, but they're not skinny. So I think they'll be okay on him. We will see. Um, Sonoma brand normally fits him pretty good. They're very soft, and they were $6.50. So I'm going to try these on them. Probably should try on the jeans before I take them, take the tags off. Okay, I don't even know. Can you return stuff there? Yep, seven days with tags. Cool. Um, anyway, so I'm going to try them on before I take the tags off. Okay, here's the stuff I got at Kroger. Here is that shirt I was telling you guys about. And it's made long. It doesn't look like it here, but you can see like the bottom is longer than the front, which I love for leggings. I love this color. I had I don't know if you guys remember, if you've watched for any amount of time, you may remember. I had a shirt made, it was the same color, but it had like buttons that went like halfway. I wore it all the time. I wore it in family pictures one year. I wore it to church all the time with leggings. Well, last year I spilled makeup on it. It was getting too big anyway, but it was one of those shirts that even as I lost weight, it looked good. Um, I spilled makeup on it and I tried everything to get it out. Laylis wants me to sit down and hold her. Uh, and I couldn't get it out and I had to get rid of it. But anyway, this reminds me of that and I'm hoping I like it as much. It has a really big collar. And this is, like I said, I think it was like $20, $21. So I'll see how that looks. And then this is just like a lounge shirt. It also was long in the back. And I just thought it'd be cozy. Nothing super special about it. It was on clearance. Layla, stop it. Oh, here it is. It was on clearance for $14.97. And normally they said this shirt is $52. I will say Kroger, they always have sales on their clothes. You never pay what they say the full price is. And then this is just a casual shirt, but I thought it was cute. It's got a book on it. By the way, y'all, I just reached my 100th book read, which is so exciting. That was my goal for the year. And this was on clearance for $4.97. Normally $14. And I just thought it was cute. It'd be nice to have a shirt just to be casual around the house. So that is everything. I'm going to go put, try my stuff on, put it away. I need to edit a video. 
and I'm tired y'all. All I want to do is take a nap, but I'm going to keep pushing forward. I'll see y'all back at home. I mean, I'm home. I'll see you guys back when I get home from getting Mark. Guys, I feel like I look like a hot mess today. Uh, the rain. Oh, okay. So I did chill this. I put it in the freezer for like 30 minutes. It's perfectly chilled. So let's taste it. I need some energy. I feel so tired. I feel like I could just take a little nap. It's one o'clock. I just got the video edited. Okay, I'm going to do the smell test first. I definitely smell cranberry. I feel like that meme of that girl. Can't do it. Because she takes a sip of like the kombucha and she's like. <laughs> it's good. It's like a. It definitely tastes like cranberry, very strong cranberry with like a tropical vibe at the very back end of it. I don't know if I would say coconut, maybe. It just tastes kind of tropical to me at the end. I like it. I wouldn't say it's like the best one I've ever had, but for something different and something festive, it's pretty, pretty good. All right, I'm gonna go get a little bit more work done. I've started trying to key in all of the names and emails from our Blocktober event. And I did this for hours last night. So my bag was like about to fall off. <laughs> I finally stopped at like 10, 10.30 last night and I only got through not even half of the names. And I did it for like three hours. So I don't know if I can sit there all day. I don't have the time to do it a lot, but maybe if I just do, we wanna to try to get them all done as quickly as possible so we can email everybody like, thank you for coming. And it's almost been like, it's like five days at this point. So ideally we would have them done before now, but it's just, we haven't had time to key all this in. And the hardest part is the handwriting is so hard to read. Um, I, I do not, I, I feel like I'm pretty good at reading handwriting, but I would say about 50 Maybe 30 to 50% are completely unreadable. <laughs> like, I cannot decipher. And especially like with email addresses, you know, it's so, like, there's dots and underscores and numbers and all this stuff. And so it is really hard. So next year, we're definitely going to have, like, an electronic way for people to sign in because, oh, this, this has been rough. So this is much needed while I work on that. That's all I'm going to say. I will see you all back when I get Mark. This time for real. Oh, one more thing. When I was at Target, I forgot to tell you all this. I picked up another bag of these gummy bears that were like 38 cents because they have fall packaging. What I'm going to do, the kids have been wanting to try that viral thing where you soak gummy bears in Sprite. So you take gummy bears, you soak them in like you put them in like a dish, pour Sprite all over them, let them sit for like 24 hours and they soak up the Sprite. Then you take the gummy bears that have been soaking and you put them in the freezer. And it's supposed to be really interesting and fun. So I thought for 38 cents, we'll get these. Last night at Domino's, we got a free Sprite. And so bada bing, bada boom, fun activity. So I'm gonna go ahead and start soaking them. And then tomorrow after school, they'll be able to try one if they want to. I don't think Nate will, but the other two might. So that is what I'm gonna do real quick. All right, you guys. It is now 6.15. Um, I feel like I look like a wreck. I ended up just putting my hair back in a ponytail, but I still feel like I look not the best. Um, it's been nasty all day, so I didn't want to like do my hair anymore to get rained on again. Um, I have all these like weird baby hairs, and they're just annoying. I'm wearing this shirt that I bought from Kroger, and I really like it. I wish they had a different print, because it's like the perfect length to wear with leggings. So it like covers, it hits like right below or right underneath like your bottom area and so it just covers everything I'm always having trouble like because I love wearing leggings but it's hard to find shirts that are long enough you know so I'm always on the lookout for that um David came home he brought Lucy. he ended up getting Lucy from choir bringing her home he was only here for maybe 30 or 45 minutes and then he had to leave again um we are getting ready to go I do not know how this is going to work because the kids are kind of wound up and trying to corral them to sit 
in the service was hard. So I'm not putting any pressure on them. We're going to just see how it goes. I am not anticipating us staying a really long time. Like I said, it starts at 7 and their bedtime is 8.30. And yeah, we're not going to be able to stay. We never make it longer than like an hour. Um, it's just really hard. I mean, it's hard for Nate to sit still and it's really loud and stuff, but it's hard for Mark too. He's only four and so to sit quietly and even if we bring stuff to do it's just kind of hard so I definitely wanted to go and support our worship team I'm so proud of them um it's grown from just David like just a few months ago our worship team was just David on the keyboard <laughs> uh and now we have four people we have a singer she also plays a keyboard and then we have a guitar player and a drummer and then David too. So it's, it's really amazing to see it grow. And, um, anyway, I'm excited to see everybody too and get to wave at people and hug them that I haven't gotten to see in a while. Um, I will let you guys know how it goes when I get back. Everybody's eating dinner. We had leftovers. He had everybody up something. Everybody's eating. They're playing. I'm letting them run around and play until like right before we're going to leave to go. I need to pack a bag with some, usually I bring some snacks uh, bring, I'll bring Nate's headphones and all of that. So I'm going to get that stuff together before we leave. But anyway, it's been a really nice afternoon. I just feel so, so tired. Um, since I've been wearing my Fitbit, I've been monitoring my sleep. And it's just not been very great. And I don't know why. Um, I've just had a lot of hard time sleeping. I think a lot of it is David's getting in really late uh, lately because he's been out at different services and stuff. I don't sleep good when he's not here. And then there's been a couple of times the kids have gotten up in the night. So I'm like extra listening out for them and waking up and listening for them and thinking I hear them. And I just feel really, really tired, just completely run down. So I'm hoping I can sleep good tonight and just feel better. Um, it's just been such a rainy, gross day. So anyway, I will see you guys back shortly. We'll finish out this day test because as soon as I just said I'll see y'all when we get back and I turned the camera off I dropped the camera and it landed in the dog's water bowl so it got completely soaked I'm really hoping it, it looks okay I, I grabbed it right up and got got it dried off but he that was not good so hopefully I'll see y'all back at the end of the day we're home I got my girl here I had to sit on the floor so I could hold her. She just needs attention. She just is so lonely without us here. Kids did amazing. Of course, I get home from church and I have to like take off my makeup immediately and put on my moisturizer. It's like I always have to put on my pajamas when I get home. I've always been like that. I haven't even done that yet. But <laughs> lately it's been like take off the makeup. My skin just feels like it can't breathe. And I I wear like very lightweight makeup, but I just like, I feel like I'm claustrophobic in it. Um, they did really good. We stayed for right at an hour. And then, so they had like worship tonight. Like I told you, our campus led worship. They did so good. I was so proud of our team. They were amazing. And then they had like these guests, um, like friends of like a church close by that sang. And when they came up, they sounded so good. But they like cranked up the volume <laughs> a lot and that was it for Nate. Like he was done. He kept screaming, no. <laughs> so uh, it was like, okay, it's all that time anyway. So we left, got them home. By the time I got them home, gave them their Zyrtec and Nate's melatonin and all that. Um, I tried on the boys' pants, well, Lucy's jeans too. I know the tops are going to fit everybody, but the pants, the jeans are what I was worried about. And y'all. They all fit. All of those clothes that I bought, all the jeans that I bought fit everyone. I cannot believe that. There was one pair that Nate put on that maybe was this much too, like it fit just perfectly. And if he grows at all, they're going to be too short. But like, I'm not going to worry about it. He'll still be able to wear them with his shoes. Once he has shoes on and stuff, I know we know they deal. But they all, the other ones fit perfectly. That, that one still fit good. So we're going to keep everything. Um, and then like there was one pair of jeans that fit better on Mark. Like they were a lot, little bit longer. Our, my boys have the longest legs. It's like 
they're tall, but it's like their height comes from their legs. And even like my brother's kids, my niece, my nieces and my nephew, they are the opposite. They have very long torsos and shorter legs. It's so weird how so many kids are just built different. And so there was one pair of jeans that was a little bit short on Mark, but again, once you put on, I don't think they're really short. They're just like just right, you know? So I usually buy stuff long because I'm always worried about them not growing it so fast. Layla, what are you doing there? So anyway, I've been trying to watch some of the election results and I don't know, I've been like really anxious about the election all day and finally I just was like, you know what? God is in control. Me looking at this and worrying about it anymore is not going to help anything. All I can do is pray for our country and ultimately the Bible says that the leaders are appointed by God and whoever it is. All we can do is pray for them, and anyway, I'm not going to worry about it anymore. <laughs> I've been trying to kind of stay up to date just tonight as stuff has been coming in, but I'm going to bed, y'all. I am so tired. I need to stay up and key in some more emails, but I just, I might do it, but Dave was like, just do like one page a day. <laughs> I'm like, it'll take forever. It'll be like a week from now before I get it done. So I'm going to have to do more than one page a day, so anyway. Y'all, I was not made, I really thought I would be good at like a very monotonous job, like typing in like data, like I think I would like that, but this email thing has shown me I do not like that. Okay, I told y'all I dropped the camera in water. I feel like the camera quality is very hazy. It looks like I'm in a smoky bathroom. That's <laughs> so bad. Uh, okay, I'm hoping it's gonna dry out okay. Um, maybe I just need to clean the lens. Oh, it's just getting worse, look at this. I think there's moisture underneath the lens, but what's weird is when I first started talking to y'all, when I first opened the camera back up after we got home, it didn't look like this, it's just getting worse. So, I don't know. <laughs> I look like I'm sitting in a fog. I'm coming to you from a smoke storm. Um, I'm going to have to go charge my other camera. And it's not going to... I'm really used to this one now. I do have a warranty on this, and it includes, like, drops and spills and stuff. So hopefully I can get it fixed. Darn. Um, if you are still watching this, leave me. should I leave? What should we leave? It's, it's, a, it's, I'm getting distracted by the terrible, terrible quality of this video. Um, leave me a thumbs down emoji <laughs> if you're watching this because me spilling the, dropping this in the dog's bowl, like what are the odds? What are the odds of that happening? Um, I'm going to see what it looks like in the morning. Uh, I love you guys. Thank you all for watching today. If you like the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Definitely subscribe if you're new. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. You might think the weather's kind of cold.